Hello everyone, my name is Talia Surur from Class 6B. Today I'm going to explain the LCM and GCF. First, before we go going to start our lesson, we have to know what are the prime numbers and what are the composite numbers. First, what is the prime number? The prime number is any number that have only two factors. For example, like the number 5. 5 equal what times what? Give me number 5. Only 1 times 5. Do I have any two factors? No. So, 1, 2, 2 factors. So, it is what? It is a prime number. Let me here see the number 8. 8 is prime or composite. We will know. What times what give me 8? It will be 4 times 2 equals 8. Or also I can say 1 times 8 give me also 8. Let's count the factors. 1, 2, 3, 4. Wow, it's more than 2 factors. So 8 is a composite number. Here we will start our lesson, the GCF and the LCM. For example, I want to know the GCF of the number 32 and the number maybe 16. Okay, here, what times what give me 32, 8 and 4? Are they prime? No, so factorize it again. 8 equals what? 8 equals 4 times 2. Are they prime? Only two is prime, so kill it by circling it. Complete. Four times what equals four? It will be one and four? Yeah, but also I can say two times two. So two and two are prime. Circle it. Four. Here it is. Two times two. Easy. So... The number 32 equals what? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Did you from where I got all of these twos? The prime number. I will circle them and write them here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here I got 5 twos. Here, number 16. What times what give me 16? 8 and 2. 2 is prime, circle at 8. Factorize it. It will be 4 and 2. 2, it's a prime, circle it. 4, factorize it. 2 times 2, circle the both 2's. So here, 16 equals what? 2 times 2 times 2 times the last 2. Here, teacher. I got the factors. What is the common factors? How will I find them? Here, I will tell you a trick to not always make it wrong. Arrange the factors or especially the prime factor which I circled them from the least to the greatest. But here, unfortunately, I got all of them too. So I will not do this step. I will just skip it. So here. How will I find the common factor? Any number up and down, they will kill each other. Just take one of them times. Oh my god, we have twins. So, kill each other. Take only one of them. Kill each other. Take only one of them. And also, this is so on. Oh, teacher, I will take it. No, it's a law. It don't have any factor here. So just ignore it in the GCF. He equal what? I will find right now the GCF, which is the greatest common factor. Two times two equal what? Four. Four times two equal what? Eight. Eight times two. 2 equal what? Equal 16. So the greatest common factor of 32 and 16 is what? Is 16. 
Teacher was here. I want to know the LCM of these also both numbers. What will I do? The LCM. Let me say you a song. LCM the monkey likes to eat all the deserts. So, teacher, so I will take all of these two and multiply them and I will get the LCM. No, I will do the same steps as the GCF, but any number is alone. I will not ignore it because the LCM likes to eat all of the digits. So, I will take it with me. So, the LCM of the number 32 and 16 will be exactly the same steps of the G L uh, GCF, but here I will take this poor two cause LCM is a monkey, likes to eat all the digit. Don't forget this poor two, put it here. Okay, two times two will give me four. Two times two also will give me four. Here times the last two. Here first. Four times four equals what? Equals sixteen. Times this two, it will be thirty-two. So the LCM of the number thirty-two and sixteen is what? Is thirty-two. And the GCF of these numbers are what? Are sixteen. Goodbye. Hope you understand what we view the student Talia Surur.